Hey guys, Casey Foster from NetGoodGuides.com doing an Overwatch here. I got 150 matchmaking wins the other day. Figured I would do a mat a Overwatch for Valve rewarding me for getting so many sweet wins in matchmaking. But um, let's see what this guy's got here. It's a cash match here. Nothing really too much going on. I would say that he's not wall hacking based on the fact that he had that smoke out when the dude peeked out. So, unless he goes full rage or t toggles on later in the round, I'm going to go ahead and say that he's clean this round. Yeah. I really wish you could see like the rank that these games were at. That's a good kill. Pretty standard play so far. Nothing really too much going on. I told his buddy to boost him. Teammate flashes him. Yeah. This is actually my second one. I did one earlier. And the dude wasn't cheating either. It's kind of a uh, kind of disappointing that there are so many people that think people are cheating and just clearly are not. I mean, obviously this dude could toggle on in a few rounds or something, but um, so far he's not done anything crazy. And usually, the round that it starts you at is when the person gets. Um, Gets uh, suspected, or they report the actually when the report comes in. So he's got eight kills, eight rounds, 1.0 FPR. Had a little delay there in spawn right there. Okay, maybe he was toggling on. Let's see. Asking for a boost. Hey guy, you want to boost me mid? Oh, I can't jump. He's pre-aim. Okay, okay. Well, he was surprised by that guy. That's a fucking horrible nade. So he was completely surprised by the guy at white box. And if he was wall hacking here, he'd know that he's going into a fucking three-man stack. He saw this dude like three times. This guy's absolutely not cheating right now. <laughs> Three on four situation. The suspect coming out mid. Going to come out mid. Potentially coming out mid. Pretty decent crosshair placement. I'd say this guy's maybe like a DMG, maybe legendary eagle. Oof. Easy frag. Dude running out. Nice, nice, nice play there. Take your time. Still got a 51 seconds left. They know there's one in B sight. Let's see if he's going to get this frag. Completely oblivious to everywhere else on the map. This is uh, a little weird. One-on-one -on -one situation. 1 HP versus 100 HP with the AWP. He's going to re reposition himself to CT spawn. The suspect currently waiting. Oh, and he does not get the kill. So now we here are... Now we are here on... The tenth round. He likes to go out mid, I guess. Yeah, this guy's definitely not cheating. So one of the biggest things that a lot of people don't really understand about calling people out for cheats is, generally speaking, in matchmaking and just Counter Strike in general, people are not going to be aimbotting, and if they're aimbotting, it's super obvious that they're aimbotting. Usually, people are going to be wall hacking, and one of the biggest things that you can one of the biggest clues to determine if somebody's wall hacking or not is how surprised they get. So, it was, I mean, he saw the dude spray in the corner. Pretty standard frag. I would have done the same thing. But he's been surprised or in a situation where he had a smoke out or a flash out or didn't have his crosshair in the general area as you know of where the bad guy was at. That's usually the biggest clue because a cheater is going to put himself in a position to never get surprised. And even if they try to get surprised, like, you know, try to make it look like they're not cheating. 
it still ends up looking like they were not surprised because they're going to put themselves in a position where they can adjust very quickly um, to where the bad guy's at and potentially get the kill, even though they were trying to make it look like they were surprised. So he does a pretty decent job of checking corners, so he's not going to get surprised a whole lot. But even in like the three rounds that we've already watched, he got surprised in like multiple situations. And um, yeah, this guy's definitely just a really you know standard player. Nothing, nothing real crazy. He's got good crosshair placement and checks things thoroughly. Obviously, he's trying to trying to seek out the dude who's trying to save the op, but ooh, almost. Yeah, this uh, nothing suspicious going on in this game. I don't think. Maybe you guys saw something that I didn't. And, um, yeah, okay, this guy's definitely not cheating. Um, yeah, even, even his, even his aim is just kind of, it's just kind of okay. His, his recoil control is really not the best, but he puts himself in long range, big gun fights to win these gun battles and, Puts himself in good good positions to win fights, so he's just in it, you know, probably like I said, a DMG, legendary eagle, maybe legendary eagle, eagle master at most. But um, yeah, I really don't think this guy's cheating. Come on, get the kill in the smoke, make him think you're cheating. Yeah, so he's just completely run past this guy, and he's gonna shoot in the smoke now that he's eliminated and gets the kill. So yeah, boys. I'm going to go out on a whim here and say that this guy is not cheating thus far unless he goes full rage mode here. But based on the guns that the other players are buying, I'm going to say that he's queuing up with some friend or something that's a big noob because the other guys have the worst like SMGs to buy. And generally speaking, these guns are not purchased by good players. So he's probably playing at a little bit lower rank. Um, or he's playing with a friend that brought the rank down, you know, which is totally fine. He's just playing with a friend that's got to be lower rank, and in turn, his friend gets to play against better players, and he's going to play against a little bit worse players because the matchmaking system is going to average out the, you know, the overall elo of everybody and um, start the game. So, based on the SMGs they have, they're probably just big noobs who are just getting outplayed. So again, right there, that was a perfect situation where he was surprised by a player's position. Um, the guy had the jump on him, and he adjusted accordingly, but the guy had the jump on him. And uh, the guy had the jump on him and the positioning. He didn't get the kill, but that's uh, it's pretty standard. So definitely not wall hacking in any of these rounds so far. Definitely not aimbotting in these rounds as well. Let's see what happens here in the next round. Whoa. What the hell was the point of that? <laughs> he bought an AK, threw it on top of the truck, and then went and bought another. Ooh, four-man rush right here. Let's see what happens here, boys. One. Come on. Oh. Gets wrecked. He won that round? No. Okay. 13-3. Or 10-3. Yeah, he's definitely got to be queued with a friend because there's no way anybody in matchmaking actually participates in, in team gameplay. Oh, and gets pushed with a bison and dies. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark this guy as insufficient evidence of all of this. Um... If you guys think anything different, let me know in the comments below and we can chat about it. Submit.